Welcome to Science Concepts. We are going to talk about green hydrogen today. In order to combat climate change and related issues, we need to adopt cleaner and sustainable energy resources that leave no or very little carbon. One such giant leap in such direction is green hydrogen. Hydrogen exists only in combination with other elements. It has to be extracted from naturally occurring compounds like water. Hydrogen is a clean molecule, but the process of extracting it is energy intensive. There are various sources and processes by which this odorless and colorless gas is derived. These are categorized by color tabs. First is gray hydrogen which makes up the bulk of the hydrogen market. In this, hydrogen is produced from fossil fuels, resulting in carbon dioxide emissions, which are released to the atmosphere. Then, there is blue hydrogen, in which hydrogen is produced mainly from natural gas. However, the emissions are captured through carbon capture and storage, but it has been estimated to have a greenhouse gas footprint too. The third method is green hydrogen, in which hydrogen is generated by splitting water by an electrical process called electrolysis using a device called electrolyzer that is powered entirely by renewable energy. Thus, green hydrogen has significantly lower carbon emissions than grey hydrogen. The ultimate aim of using green hydrogen is to fuel decarbonize key sectors of the economy such as steel and cement production, chemicals, and transportation. The other advantage of producing green hydrogen is that the renewable energy that cannot be stored or used by the grid can be channeled to produce hydrogen. One thing to note here is that hydrogen is an energy carrier and not a source of energy. Hydrogen fuel must be transformed into electricity by a fuel cell stack before it can be used to power a vehicle. Fuel cell based vehicles most commonly combine hydrogen and oxygen to produce electricity to power the electric motor on board. These are now commonly known as electric vehicles. The only byproduct being water vapor it leaves near zero carbon footprint. However, India's electricity grid is predominantly coal based, thus negating collateral benefits from an electrical vehicle, as coal will have to be burnt to generate electricity that will power these vehicles. Coming back to the advantages of green hydrogen. Green hydrogen can be blended into existing natural gas pipelines. A pilot program in France has already mixed hydrogen into the gas grid of 100 homes. Another wonderful application is that natural gas-fired power plants can also be converted to burn hydrogen, serving to provide backup power during periods of high demand. You may be surprised to know that not only automobiles, but trucks are also being designed to run on green hydrogen. In 2020, major European companies announced plans to switch their truck fleets to hydrogen power. Additionally, hydrogen-powered aircraft are already being designed by Airbus with a planned release of the first commercial aircraft by 2035. Can you imagine that? Not only commercial sectors, but hydrogen can be used for cooking and heating within homes too. Hydrogen heating has been proposed as an alternative to power most UK homes by 2050. Green hydrogen can also be used to produce green ammonia, the main constituent of fertilizer production. The Hydrogen Council suggested in 2021 that green ammonia will be cost competitive with grey ammonia produced conventionally by 2030. Companies across countries have formed alliances to increase production of the fuel 54 in the next six years. Along with countries like Africa, Australia, China, Canada, Japan, UK, USA and others, 
India has also been venturing into green hydrogen production. However, the current cost of green hydrogen in India is 350 to 400 per kg, which is way too high currently. However, it is likely to become viable when the production cost goes under rupees 100 per kg, which is the aim for hydrogen energy mission. Not only all this, green hydrogen would also help to limit climate change. All this sounds very promising in this world where dangers of climate change are looming over our heads. Meanwhile, let's keep doing our bit in saving our environment. If you like this video and want to participate in our bit of spreading importance, awareness and need for green initiatives, help us and encourage us by clicking on the like button, sharing this video with friends and family and also do leave a comment about your thoughts, ideas and feedbacks. Take care, have a good day. Bye-bye.